Hi there! In this video, I'm going to show you how to highlight an entire row of data based on a selection from a drop-down list in Google Sheets. I'll cover two examples to clearly explain how everything works so you don't miss any details. That said, let's get right into it. The first thing that you're going to need is your data stored somewhere in Google Sheets. And the second thing you'll need is a designated cell where you will create a drop-down list that pulls from one of the data columns. Once you've got everything set up, the first thing you'll do is create the drop-down list in the designated cell. So start by selecting that cell, and then go to Data, and then Data Validation. In the panel on the right, click on Add Rule, and under Criteria, select Drop-down from a range. Next, click on the Select Data Range button, and select the data in the column that you want to pull options from, and then click OK. Finally, scroll down and click on Advanced Options, and change the display style if you want to. Personally, I like to use the arrow display style. Then after that, click Done, and you can also close the panel on the right. Now you have a drop-down list in your designated cell. Now for the formatting. Select the entire data range, and then go to Format, Conditional Formatting. In the panel on the right, select Custom Formula Is, and now for the formula. This is the hard part, so let's build the formula step by step. Start with an equal sign, and then type in the address of the top cell in the same column that you used for the data validation. In this case, we used the title column for the data validation. So we enter the address of the top cell in this column, which is B6. And next, we add a dollar sign before the column letter of this reference. This ensures that the conditional formatting rule will always reference the values in column B, which is what you want. Now for the rest of the formula. Enter equals and then type in the address of the designated cell that we added data validation to earlier. And finally, make this reference an absolute reference by adding dollar signs before both the column letter and the row number. This ensures that the conditional formatting rule for each cell of the selected range will always refer to this cell specifically. And with that, you can select the fill color of your choice, and maybe even bold the text if you want to as well. Then click on Done and close the panel on the right. Now, when you select an option from the list, Google Sheets highlights the whole row for the record that matches your selection. Let's move on to example two and go through this one more time. Once again, we will start with the drop down list. Select the designated cell, and then go to Data and then Data Validation. Click on Add Rule, and for the criteria, Select drop down from a range. Then click on the Select Data Range button. From here, select the column of data that you want to populate the list, so this time let's select the authors. Finally, scroll down and click Advanced Options and select your preferred display style. Finally, click on Done and close the panel on the right. And now you have your drop down list in the designated cell. And you may also notice that Google Sheets only shows one copy of each value in this list, even if that value appears multiple times in the data. Now for the conditional formatting. Select the entire data range, and then go to Format Conditional Formatting. Under Format Cells If, select Custom Formula Is. And for the formula, enter equals and then the address of the top cell from the same column that you used to create your data validated list, and this time we used the author column. So enter the address of the top cell in this column, which is C6. Then be sure to add a dollar sign in front of the column letter. Next, add equals, and then the address of the cell that holds the selection, which is of course cell B3. Then add dollar signs to both parts of this reference to make it an absolute reference. Finally, set up the formatting however you want, and then click Done and close the panel on the right. 
Now, when you select an author, all books with that author are highlighted in your dataset. I hope you had fun learning how to create this effect in Google Sheets. And if you enjoyed this video or learned something new, I highly encourage you to subscribe or give the video a like. That said, thanks for watching, and until next time, I will see you in the next Spreadsheet Life video.